Hello video creators, welcome to Storytium. In this short Premiere Pro tutorial you will learn how to lower the pitch of your voice like I did in this part of my GoPro review video. Hyper smooth stabilization. And besides that you will also learn how to create a higher pitch voice and sound like these guys. Nailed it! I'm going to show you two methods to achieve this. The first one will be inside Premiere Pro only. I'm going to start with this one right after the message of our sponsor Storyblocks. If you need some high quality stock videos, photos, music or sound effects or maybe some cool After Effects animation templates then you should definitely check out Storyblocks. They offer more than a million royalty free assets that can be used in both personal and commercial projects. And the best of all, their all access plan gives you unlimited downloads. So go check them out, you can find the links in the video description. Ok now it's time to move over to Premiere and start some editing. Inside Premiere I've already got a voiceover recording ready on the timeline. Let's do a quick playback. Hello video creators, welcome to Storytium. We're going to use this short voiceover for this example. First we need to move over to the effects panel and there we're going to search for the pitch shifter effect. Depending on your version of Premiere you might find this effect two times in the list, a new and obsolete version. And we're going to use the new one. You can select the effect and drag it over to the timeline to apply it through the voiceover track. Then make sure you've got the voiceover track selected and then move over to the effects control panel. And there you'll find the pitch shifter effect that we just applied. Now click on the edit button and then a new window will pop up. In this control window you'll see two sliders, semitones and sends. A semitone or a halftone is the smallest musical interval in tonal music, just like the distance between keys on a piano. And then we've also got sense. A semitone is 100 cents, so both sliders do exactly the same thing. Only the semitone slider gives a more coarse control and the sense slider provides a more finer control. To create the low, deep or high pitch voice, we'll only use the semitone slider in this tutorial. If you want to create a low, deep voice, you need to move the slider to the left. Then select the high precision option and enable the default settings. And minus 5 will sound like this. Hello video creators, welcome to Storyship. And if you want to sound more like a chipmunk, you need to move the slider to the right. A value around 8 will do. Hello video creators, welcome to Storyship. And that's all you have to do to create this effect inside Premiere Pro. But as I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, there are multiple ways to achieve this. So let's have a look at the next method which has more control options and also sounds a bit better in my opinion. This one is also very easy but it takes a few more steps and you also need to have Adobe Edition installed on your system. Ok to show you the second method I'll first remove the pitch shifter effect that we applied earlier. Then I'm going to right click on the voiceover track and then select edit clip in Adobe Edition. And this will automatically open up Adobe Edition and import the voiceover track. Once Edition has booted up, go to the effects menu, then select time and pitch and then select stretch and pitch. And that will open up a new window which will look like this. And in this control window we can start by applying a preset, in this case a lower pitch. And this preset also shifts the semitones to minus 5. And as I mentioned before, this method has a lot more control options which you could use to fine tune the sound. Anyway, for this one we'll stick to the defaults and the lower pitch preset sounds like this. Hello video creators, welcome to Storyship. And if you want to sound like the chipmunks, you can also use the Raise Pitch preset. I also like to use the Helium preset, which sounds like this. Hello video creators, welcome to Storyship. And if you are satisfied with the results, you can click apply and then save the project. And then if you go back to Premiere, you'll see that the effects that we applied in addition are now updated inside Premiere. Hello video creators, welcome to Storyship. And that's it for this short audio pitch control tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did you might also want to check out one of these two videos. Anyway as always thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.